Welcome to this episode of Nalius, where I hopefully will be able to finally create silicon on the bus. Otherwise I will have to wear a silicone on my head at the end of the episode. Let's see what happens. I'll also provide some electricity up there. Should be good. Okay. I want to go past the bauxite patch with the oxygen. That should be far enough. And then from there I will just go down. And create my first silicon uh, factory. This is steel. I guess I will just... Okay, I don't have to search. It's probably this one. I need a medium furnace, two or three. Let's take this one then. Two of them. And there's the oxygen connection. Okay. Not sure if this is how I want to do this. I'd rather move this away a bit and then I will feed in the oxygen from the side with an underground belt. And now I just need silica and graphite. I'm sure I I have researched how to make silica, but I will have to research that again. So maybe I'll just use the most simple version, just a flotation cell with sand and saline water. I guess I could do that right there. I'll already build the flotation cells. one I also always want to keep some space just in case I need more space for beacons or something okay also I will add yield modules and now I need to see whether I have to connect anything. Also, I will order more than 100 of those underground pipes. I'll definitely need more than that. And I hope to stay within the bounds of the logistic network. Okay, down there is the saline water connection. The water itself is not there yet, but my need to build things is there. Okay, and now the sand that I already sent over here. The other way around, or maybe um, I'll send the sand there, and then the silica will flow out on the left side. Also need power.
Let's see, I guess I might throw in one tank. And there's also silica in this rock. That's interesting. For now, I will just send the silica to the left like this. Still needs graphite. I will provide that there. I guess I might just take some graphite, send it further to the left and then up. This bauxite patch is a bit in the way, but that's fine. I'll also already provide power to these machines. And maybe while I'm going to fetch the graphite, I might as well build the connection for the carbon dioxide. Not really sure where this would end up. Did I leave my car anywhere close by to the right there? So I guess I will have to go further to the right without my car. And then I will see whether I can use it for building other stuff. Might also just use the factory search feature to locate the nearest carbon dioxide. This one is carbon monoxide in logistics. 89 meters. Okay, it's already quite close by. I will do myself a ping as well. And then I'll just go that way. Should I risk driving with the car backwards? Not sure where this was. Did the ping disappear already? I guess it was here, so... Now I left the car while in the map mode, so that happened. Not too bad. Why? What is that? Why does it say that I can't connect this? This is a scam. Let me just look at this. Wait, is this carbon monoxide? And I scammed myself into believing. Yeah. Okay, I'm a bit silly. I guess I should wear the silicone after all. So it's okay to have uh, transported the carbon dioxide further to the left, but I actually need the carbon monoxide pipe there. It's good that the game tells me when I'm utterly wrong. Not sure if I want to maybe continue this pipe from where it is, or if I might have to Take this higher anyway. I might just rebuild whatever I just uh, 
destroyed and then have carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide quite close together. Maybe I should actually put it really close together. Like that, diagonal. And then I will just go on and I should remember to take the carbon monoxide with me. Okay, uh, that doesn't work because, or I mean, it's not that diagonal anymore like it was there because there was a pipe in between, but I will just do it like that there. And I wanted to take the graphite. For that, I'll just try to drive through here. And steal some graphite from there. I hope I can actually make the silicon in this episode. I guess half of the time is already passed. Now I'm doing silly power moves. Silly car. But I think uh, it should be possible to do that. Just bring over the graphite. And then also provide pipes for carbon monoxide and dioxide. And now progress should be made. And I guess whatever pipe I have done up there will just be disconnected for now and this can be occupied by something else in the future. And now I need to connect the carbon monoxide pipe. Sometimes it's difficult to judge straight lines. So this uh, has carbon monoxide connected, needs an output belt, it needs inputs and it needs the carbon uh, or the graphite. Haven't yet gotten that further but now it's quite close by. And I need to send away the waste water. Maybe I could use the pipe that I prepared for that. Oh, and there's a pipe in the way. I didn't really notice that, probably because of the wind turbine. I wondered why nothing was progressing. But then we have silicon. And these silicon ingots can be used in ceramics, I would say I would say. Ceramic powder. And I also brought the graphite. Just need the nitrogen and there's also the carbon monoxide as a waste product. The boron should be that brown stuff on this belt. Now there's just the wastewater connection and the nitrogen that I want to finish. Let's just make this the wastewater pipe. 
And then I will also prepare a nitrogen pipe, although I want to first figure out where the closest nitrogen is. Might just be somewhere at the bottom or further to the right. There's definitely nitrogen coming from these air separation processes and there as well, but also here, where I also produce argon or residual gas. I guess in the residual gas one can find argon. So this goes only up to this point and I guess not much of the nitrogen actually goes far to the left. I might just not steal it from there, but maybe just make this pipe longer. I'll just do that now, just so I can let the robots do that. And now I want to try finding where I was. Oh, I just built that properly myself, even though this is very far away from where I'm actually located at the moment. I think I might still want to go up a few more blocks. This might coincide with the chargers a bit. If I can get past that or can avoid connecting. Okay, this should be the nitrogen apart from that one place where it didn't quite connect. And the ceramic powder, yeah, that is made in a medium furnace as well. I could use the same carbon monoxide pipe there. Okay, what else do I need? I might just put the graphite and the silicon ingots on the same belt. Although maybe I should put the graphite and the boron on the same belt since together they are still less than the silicon ingots. And then the inserters don't have to work too much for one specific item. So I guess I said boron and graphite on one belt. So I shouldn't forget the yield modules and some power. Now I need the nitrogen and an output belt. 
I might as well at some point use some of these resources also on the left side somehow with another belt. If I need more throughput, I'm not sure when or if I need that, but just as an afterthought to uh, use a tunnel there instead of a full belt. Nitrogen is not yet connected. But there we have a connection already. So the underground belt was built that I planned. For that uh, there had to be removed a stone. Or rock. Something like that there. I guess I'll just mark a few things for deconstruction or for making them apart just so they don't get in my way later. Okay. Oh yes, I didn't build all the inserters yet, that's the problem. Let's just do this now. Although I want to look at the time, it's 40 seconds craft time. But even so, I will just do that anyway. I will send more of these highly anticipated resources just so this could be inserted faster and now we have ceramic powder I will first just put it in a temporary chest and now I need to consume 100 of those. I guess I can't eat them. But also I still have some other stuff on me that I will try to get rid of. But not much of it can actually be gotten rid of. So what is the ceramic powder used in? I can make maybe a ceramic filter. I'm not sure whether I need this right now. A lamp too. So this is a different lamp recipe or maybe it's no it's just a bigger lamp. This will probably be needed in certain machines. The power tool, relay tool, sensor tool. Cassie 3. I wonder if I could make one of those. I would need to search for textile. I guess I should have some robot frames somewhere. Maybe efficiency module as well. Right now I only have chassis too. But also refractory bricks might be good. Maybe I should just make some of those. And I forgot again where they are made. Also in a medium furnace too, for instance. I guess I'll just uh, set this up. Might not finish to build this, but I can at least start. This has quite few things it needs, so don't really need to do too many complicated things here. And now I can use some ceramic powder and you see the percentages rise. I guess this is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching.